Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to After Effects Beginners tutorial series. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's get started. Now if you haven't watched the previous part, I would totally recommend it. So you can click here to watch it right now or you can click the link in the description below. So now we are going to animate our text using the animation properties. So this is a very powerful method of creating some really amazing text animation. So let me show you how. So over here I have my text layer and if you want to access the animation property then you can select the layer and if you go under it you can see we have this option called animate. So if I click on this arrow it will give me a bunch of different options which I can select to animate. So first I'm going to do a simple position animation. So if I click on that here you can see it gives us two parameters which is this range selector and position. So first I'm going to talk about position. Now this parameter defines what are going to be the final and initial position. So right now our text is over here. So this is going to be our final position. And let me just change this position value so that I can change it just like this. So we have already defined the final and initial position. If you want you can also change the x position as well so now this is going to be our initial position and over here where we have our text this is going to be our final position but for this one i'm going to set this to 200 now if you want to animate it you have to go under range selector and from here you can see we have these three parameters so the first one is start so if i increase its value you can see that now our text is animating and it is moving from our initial position which is at 200 and now it is going to the center of this which is our final position so if you want to animate it again you can add a keyframe and just move the indicator and then increase its value to 100 so now if you play back here you can see you have created this kind of animation which is good but it is not what we want so i'm going to show you how you can make more smoother animation using this so let me just delete the keyframes and also you will notice that we have this end option so if I animate this, you can see that now our text is animating, but it is animating from the opposite direction. So if you want to do that, you can use the end property and we also have the offset option. So this works in a similar way. So you can use this to animate both the start and end. If you animate it from 0 to 100, it will do the start animation. And if you animate it from 0 to negative 100, it will do the end animation. So for now, we are going to set this to 0. And if you go under advanced, there are a bunch of different options that we are going to choose. So the first one is unit. Now by default, it will be set to percentage. So it will define your animation based on how much percentage you have completed. So right now you can see we have this percentage symbol. So if I type here 50, so now you can see that 50% of our characters have gone up and other 50 are down below. And there is one character which is in the middle. So it defines that 50% of our animation has completed. So you can go to 100%, 10% and stuff like that. Now if I change this to index, now you will notice that our values has changed. And now you don't have to go to 100. You can only go to 15. So now you can see we have control over individual character. So if I set this to 3 and you will notice that only 3 characters have gone up. And in the same way, you can see that there are 15 characters, so I can animate individual character using this property. So for now, we are going to set this to percentage. And if you want, you can change this to character or words or lines, whatever you have. So if I set this to word and now if I animate, you will notice that it will animate the individual word instead of letters. And if you have multiple lines, you can do that. But for this one, let's go with character. And you will also see we have this mode option add if you set this to subtract now you will notice that our animation is happening in the opposite direction. Basically we have changed the final and initial position. But for this one let's stick with add and over here we have this important property called shape. So if I set this to ramp up you will notice that our text has changed its shape. Now if I animate you will notice that our text is not going down even though we are at 0%. So that means we are we cannot use these properties. So for this one, we are going to use the offset. So if I set this to negative 100, you will notice that our text is down below and I can add a keyframe and let me move at one 
and I can change it to 100. So now you can see that our animation is moving and our text is going up. Now let me just quickly do one more thing. I'm going to press N on my keyboard so that the endpoint moves and now we will play only this region in a loop just like this. So we have created our animation but again it is not looking smooth. So in order to do that there are these two options which is called ease high and ease low. So if I increase this parameter to 100 now if I play back you will notice that in the beginning our text is starting very slow and at the end it is going at a very fast speed. So if you want to go with this look you can choose the ease high option but if I set this to 0 and increase the ease low value and now if I play back you will notice that in the beginning our text is quite fast but at the end it is moving slowly. So this is exactly what we want. So we have created the smooth animation and now you will notice that we have this option called random order. So if I turn this on you will notice that now random characters will go up and if you want to do this you can select this option and turn it on. We also have random seed option so if I increase its value you will notice that now it will change the order and it will make the characters go up in a random way and you can add different kind of randomness to this using this parameter and you can set it to whatever value you want but for this one we are going to set the random order off and we are going to stick with this animation again if you want you can select the keyframes press f9 then go to the graph editor and you can play around with this value so if you want your text to go something like this so these are completely up to you you can play around with whatever different values you want but for this one i think the normal linear keyframes work the best i'm going to stick with that so this is how you can create some text animation using animation properties now just like you added the position property you can also add different type of properties so if i select the position and set this value to zero so you will notice that now we don't have any animation because the final and initial position both are same so I can add another property by simply going to add under property I can select whatever I want so for this one I'm going to select scale and in the beginning I want my scale to be zero so now if I play back you will notice that we have added some scale animation to our text and if you want to add multiple properties you can also do that so right now we have position and scale and I can also change my position back to 200 so now you will notice that our text is animating its position and scale as well so in the same way you can add another property so let me add just add a rotation so I can increase the rotation so now you can see that now our text is coming at an angle and we have added some rotation to this as well so in the same way you can add multiple properties and you can animate any of them you can also add opacity animation if you want so I can set this to 0 and I can delete whatever property I want so if I don't want the scale I can just simply delete it and now you will notice that our text is fading up just like this and let me just delete the rotation as well so now you can see we have this amazing position animation that is fading in now there is one more property that I like to use a lot so let me just delete the opacity and if you go under the property you can see we have this blur option so I can increase the blur value quite a bit so you will notice that in the beginning our text is not visible and it will take some time to load and once it has loaded now you can see that now our text is doing the blur animation as well so in this way you can combine multiple properties and do the same text animation in a different way now you might be wondering that creating these type of text animation takes a lot of time and what if you have hundreds of text layers and you want to apply the same text animation to all of them well you can do that using the animation preset so you can save your animations whatever animation you have done on the text and you can save it as a preset so that you can apply it onto the layer after that so in order to do that you can select the layer and if you go under you can see we have this animator one so you can just simply select it and make sure that it is selected after that you can go to animation and from here you can see we have this option called save animation preset so if you click on that it will take you to this page and you can type whatever name you want over here and it saves it as a dot 
FFX property and you can just click on save. So once you have saved your animation preset, you can access it by simply going to the effects and preset panel and you can type the name that you use to save the preset and you can just simply type the name and it will display all the preset that has the name and you will find your preset over here and you can just simply select it and just drag it onto your text and it will apply the animations to that. So this is how you can create multiple text animation presets and you can create your own library and you can use them later on in whatever text or project you want. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.